because we were at season four, I really wanted this to come out of the gate with a really big kind of spectacle. Mayhem was a great example. It, it's just all action, just non-stop action. It starts with an explosion, and it never stops. So the ambulance I drove in here, where is it now? In the basement, why? There's a bomb in it. Realistically speaking, if he's going to put a bomb in an ambulance, it's going to have to be a big bomb. Andre, our special effects guy, who's just fantastic, and the minute you say blow something up, he's just got the biggest grin on his face, because, I mean, he just loves blowing stuff up. The ambulance, the ambulance was a great idea. When I read that, I knew it was going to be big, and I know they needed it big, and they wanted it big, and we needed to find an area where we could do it big. We're going to blow up the ambulance in this vast wasteland that you see here. We're going to uh, make this explosion look like it happened in the middle of Central Park. Garcia, listen to me. I need you to find an area of town I can drive this thing, and you tell everybody, you hear me, everybody, that I'm coming. That was kind of um, a last-minute decision to do it in Central Park. It was going to be an explosion at the, the docks. It was, he was going to drive the SUV into the water. We even thought about maybe going to New York just to shoot, driving an SUV into the river and blowing it up. And then one day we were at um, the stages where we did part of the episode, and I said, why don't we just do it, like, in the middle of Central Park? Vehicle's gonna start in this position. Before we go hot, Shamar will be under this protective deal in case something goes awry. We're gonna pull the vehicle straight ahead. We're gonna, when we hit a mark, our guys will push the buttons on it. I've been around explosions before, but that's the biggest one we've done, and that was loud. I was the closest person to it. I've been around burning buildings and seen fires, but never anticipating something like that. I find it one of the most unique things about this show is that you can really tell how much chemistry Shamar and Kirsten have, and they never appear together. Garcia, I'll tell you what you are to me. You're my God-given solace. Woman, you promised me one thing. Whatever happens, don't you ever stop talking to me. Those characters love each other, and they're never in the same room. I can't right now, because I'm mad at you. I can wait.